This is Ryan Abraham, Dan Weber, USCfootball.com. Instant analysis here outside the Coliseum where USC held the first bowl practice. The first one in a couple of years, Dan. It was the most yeah. spirited practice Lane Kiffin said since the first day of camp. I don't know why I quote Lane, <laughs> but it was. They had a lot of fun. Now, one of the things probably lead, leading into the spirit was uh, they turned all the seniors into coaches. Yeah. So the seniors were having fun being uh, being coaches, you know, Kyle at Holmes and, and Curtis McNeil and Kyle Negretti. He thought Kyle went by and said they thought they were really good coaches, you know, but there was a lot of spirit that way. I thought that was a really, a really good idea uh, for them. Uh, Matt Barkley, not here. He's coming back from New York from the awards. Uh, Hall, uh, College Football Hall of Fame awards uh, at the uh, Waldorf Astoria and uh, Mark Easley already on his way to Orlando for the uh, Biletnikoff uh, Award, uh, part of the uh, College Football Awards show on ESPN tomorrow night. So uh, what, everybody was not here and then with the seniors uh, weren't in pads. So uh, it was kind of an interesting day. Yeah, I talked to uh, Curtis McNeil. He was having fun. Kennedy Palmolo. Some of the coaches are out on the recruiting trail. Lane Kiffin's leaving right after practice for the recruiting trail. But Curtis said it was fun. He got to, to coach Silas Red and coach some of the guys. They, they, they seemed to have a good time with it. There was a lot of energy out there. Yeah, they had a lot of fun, I think. And then they ended up with doing a Trojan time running. And they were, uh, they were out in helmets, shoulder pads, and uh, shorts. And uh, so they told them, hey, take, all your, you know, take your stuff off, and uh, we're going to do some you know, longer 80-yard sprints or whatever. And the next thing you heard was, Leonard, get your shorts back on. <laughs> Leonard taking his jersey and his short. He had his football under shorts on. But, and then Leonard, his football shorts uh, are not good enough. Put your regular shorts on. And then there was some, some big news coming out of there with uh, Abe Markowitz. And Lane Kiffin had some interesting stuff to say. Yeah, we asked about Abe um, because he was with the seniors. He was, not, not, he was one of the guys running practice and not uh, practicing. I said, you know, we're seeing that uh, applying for his sixth year or possible sixth year, uh, and I know a lot of people counting, you know, as Abe is coming back as a, a starter, potential starter returning. And he said, well, he can play next year, but he won't be coming back. We're not bringing him back. We don't have, uh, we don't have room for him. Now, according to Abe, Abe hasn't been fine. That hadn't been finalized in Abe's mind. Now, Abe has some different options, some different alternatives. I think Lane said we'd help him, you know, go somewhere else. Abe, I think, feels like um, he could be, if he takes enough courses in the second semester and in the summer, he could be within one, um, one course of his master's. So there might be the option where he could pay uh, next fall. He could pay for the one graduate course and, and be a walk-on. But that we didn't discuss that with Lane. We're saying, and Abe hasn't either. So we know that has been discussed, that that's a possibility. But right now, Lane said, you know, we're not bringing him back. It's really strange because he was even talking to the reporters about potentially selling his house, doing what he could. It sounds like he wants to stick around, but it, it's just a weird situation. It doesn't seem like it's all resolved yet. It does not seem all resolved yet. Uh, we were kind of the one, first ones to go over and tell Abe what Lane had just said. And it was a little, he was a little taken aback by, uh, they've had conversations about it, but that, that there seemed to be a final resolution, I think, surprised Abe. All right, well, that's instant analysis here from the Coliseum, USC's bowl practice number one, first one we've seen in a couple of years. So for Dan Weber, this is Ryan Abraham. You can check out uscfootball.com for more.